Good morning, besties. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be vlogging today. I got most of my work done for the week. Yesterday, I grinded over the last like three days so that I could vlog today in peace and not be like really stressed about all the stuff I have to get done. Also, the Ontario government just announced that we're going back into the gray zone. So I can no longer go out for drinks for my birthday on Saturday, but it's not the end of the world. It's whatever. I'm just like super annoyed. I don't want to talk about it on my channel. So it is what it is. It is 9.12. I actually was supposed to go to F45 and 9.15, but I just cannot today. So I canceled my class and I'm not going. And that's that. Yeah, I might go on a walk later or something just to be active. But I am just about to go make some breakfast. I don't really have too much going on today. Like I said, I just need to take photos so I can make a thumbnail for a video that's going live tomorrow. Um, I need to get some flowers for my room. Just kind of like restock a bunch of stuff. I need more gut health shots. I need more kombucha. And I also need to get decorations for my birthday. I think I'm just going to go to Party City because I'm celebrating my birthday on Friday. So I want to decorate my house all cute. Maybe get like a disposable camera too. I feel like that'd be really fun. Yeah, what else do I have to do? Let's look at the to-do list. LOL, let me just cross off this F45 because it didn't go. It is what it is. Yeah, start new vlog. I already did my emails this morning. I'm on top of it. I answered comments. Um, yeah, I need to make a thumbnail. I need to get... IG photos. I need to edit my garage reel because they sent over a surprise package for me the other day. Also, look at all the sun rays. I'm obsessed. Um, of a bunch of their new activewear. So I guess I can kind of show you guys in this vlog too. I'll have everything linked down below. So firstly, they sent over this little black activewear crop top. Here's what it looks like. It just has like a little V in the middle, which is really flattering and kind of cute and scandalous. And I got it in a size small. I'm normally an extra small in everything, but they usually send me small. So I feel like I need to like tell them I'm an extra small because I'm, they're a little bit big in the tops. And then they also sent over this creamsicle orange little sports bra in a small as well. Obsessed. It has adjustable straps. So freaking cute. And then in the same color, they sent over a high neck version of it adorable it's in like a really nice soft ribbing material it has padding that you can take in and out i took it out um and then the back is super pretty it's like a open crisscross detail and this is a size small as well i believe next they sent over this little white workout top this is really nice too because you don't have to wear it working out it's pretty versatile um and this is a size small as well which the small will work because I like my like loose tops to be a little bit oversized. And then they sent over these little booty shorts. These are a size small, but I would say they fit kind of small because I'm normally an extra small in everything and they fit me perfectly. But they're just like little black booty shorts. So freaking cute and flattering on. I'm going to take a photo in these for Instagram to have as like the cover photo for the reel, but they have like this really cute ruching detail on the side. They're honestly just so flattering and I'm not gonna try any of these on like I said because I'm posting a tick, not TikTok, an Instagram reel. I've been really trying to make more of them because I've been really slacking on TikTok and reels. I don't know what it is, I just am so bad at it. Like I see these people make all these really cute reels and they're like so, aesthetically pleasing and fun and whenever i try to do it i just look so bad it's blurry the lighting sucks the angle's weird i don't know how the people do it like i need to get better but i also like need to like research i don't know maybe i just don't have the tiktok eye i'm trying to get better growth next up they sent over a little set but also can be worn separately like all these pieces um i have this color in a long sleeve and leggings which is really nice so i can mix, mix match all these four pieces but it's in the same style as the orange top i just showed you guys has padding in it and a size small it's adjustable really basic but really cute and then they sent over some biker shorts so freaking obsessed with this color i think this would look so cute with the long sleeve top that i have that matches so i'm very excited about this and this is in a size 
small yeah everything they sent was a size small but yeah so cute i've been obsessed with shorts for working out i was never really into it until i got my white fox workout set um like a month ago and since then i've been on a shorts grind so very very grateful and excited about this and i'll have all of these linked down below i don't really know what i'm gonna do right now like i said i did cancel my workout class so I'm thinking I'm going to have a body shower, have some breakfast, do my makeup, and get to work so that I can actually be done work on time today. Normally, I'm literally working before my workout class, and then I go work out, have a break, and then I like shower and get ready, and then I'm working from like 12 to 5, and then I take a break, hang out with my boyfriend, eat dinner and stuff, and then after, I'm grinding from like 7 to like, 10 so it really doesn't stop but hopefully today i'll be done because i have the video edited already for tomorrow so i just need to kind of have a content day and errand day so i'm gonna go shower i'm not gonna bring you guys with me Ooh, maybe i'll fake tan because my birthday celebration is tomorrow and it would be really yeah i'm gonna fake tan too let's go into my room because i have to show you guys something else i got a new hair clip my friend showed me this brand it's called cove i believe i'll have it linked down below she kept like hyping up this hair clip i was really skeptical because i'm like how can a hair clip be like really high quality and this thing like actually changed my life it is so thick and well made and durable like literally holds up your hair all day it doesn't move i know it sounds like i'm crazy because it's just a hair clip but you guys just need to get it and trust me like i'm literally getting rid of all of my other hair clips i'm gonna buy it in all the colors and all the sizes because it actually i can't go back to the other ones after using this this is my lazy one i just twist it and then clip it and have like a little little ponytail hanging it's really cute all right so it is 9 52 i'm pretty hungry i'm gonna go make breakfast and i'll show you guys how i make my oatmeal i'm not taking credit for this recipe because my friend sent it to me but it is so amazing and you guys need to try it especially if you're looking for like a really healthy high calorie um breakfast that's gonna keep you full for a really long time so Let's go make it. All right, it looks pretty chaotic over here, but I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I do. So firstly, you need one banana. Sorry if you hear talking, my mom has a client and obviously they chat. So you're gonna need one banana, put half a banana in a bowl, mash it up, and then you're going to take your oatmeal. I just have the Quaker one minute oats. Do a quarter cup of oats. Then you need chia seeds and I use flax seeds. When my friend sent me the recipe, she told me to use hemp hearts. So if you have hemp hearts, that works as well. A tablespoon of chia, a tablespoon of flax seed. We're gonna go in with almond butter. This is the one I have. And I'm going to do a tablespoon of that and just kind of scoop it in. It doesn't really matter because it's gonna cook together and then you can just mix it all together after and then you're gonna take strawberry jam i never thought of this but i'm really happy my friend sent me this because this actually changed my life i just have this like homemade strawberry jam that my mom's friend made for us but really any strawberry jam will work and again you're gonna take a tablespoon of that next we're gonna add some nuts in my friend sent me a photo of like a mix that you can get but i actually have all of the individual nuts so i just kind of make the mix myself so you're gonna do a quarter cup what i did is i just took like a scoop of everything if that makes sense so firstly you're gonna need sunflower seeds so i'm taking a spoonful of sunflower seeds natural pumpkin seeds i have the shelled ones but i don't really think it matters just a scoop of that next you're going to do cashews scoop of that next is almonds i just have these like unsalted roasted ones lastly the thing that really makes it I do a generous scoop of raisins because i love raisins very satisfying and lastly it's time to add the liquid in you can do water but i just like to do almond milk um or you could do regular milk i just have the silk almond unsweetened vanilla one 
to, I do two and then just pour a little bit on top because all of the nuts and everything you added, I don't stir it really, I just kind of leave it. And you're gonna put it in the microwave for a minute and a half. My battery's flashing, but I just sliced the banana, like the other half of the banana we were using. I like to mix it before I put the other banana in, just so you like melt all the jam and everything, the almond butter. Add the sliced banana and voila. It is seriously so good and I honestly struggle with eating lunch. I just kind of neglect it because I forget and I don't get that hungry. So I like to eat a really filling breakfast. Here you guys go, it's my favorite thing and I'm on a kick of it right now. <laughs> all right, the reel is up. This is just the photo I chose. I took it yesterday for the cover. Like I said, I'll have all the pieces linked down below. <laughs> Just a little simple haul for the IGTV. Honestly, loving my feed right now. I posted about it. It's really not that serious, but I stopped like doing a planned feed because it was really stressing me out. I really appreciate when people do it to each their own, but not for me. So I've literally just been posting whatever I want. And I honestly think it looks way better than when I was like planning a feed and editing all my photos. Like I don't edit my photos anymore. Now I'm obsessed. I just think it's so much more fun and just shows my personality more. And I'm just about to do my makeup up right now because I need to take Instagram photos for the haul that I have going live tomorrow. And I also need to get Instagram photos for my friend's brand to promote it. Today's just a content day so I don't think I'm going to show you guys me doing my makeup. If you want an updated everyday makeup routine, comment down below. I'll link my other everyday makeup routines in the description box but like I do the same thing every single time. I just kind of like switch up products sometimes, but yes, let me know if you guys want an updated one and I will talk to you guys when I'm doing some errands and I'll probably get a Starbucks too because treat yourself. <laughs> You're making me uncomfortable. Um, we're at Wendy's now. He just took my Instagram photos. I didn't show it, but I'm bringing him, him, his kale. Him. To run errands me. with me because bring you forth me. I have to go to Walmart, which is right there. Oh no, I can go to LCBO tomorrow. Flowers at Metro, some kombucha at Metro. Dude, you need help. Anyone who likes kombucha, is, seek therapy. It's good for you. It also is like it's, it's like, like sparkling water. It's like root good. juice. Whatever, you're not healthy. You don't get it. Yeah, I'm not. I like carbs. <laughs> No. Okay. Hi, can I please have a spicy chicken sandwich combo with a Coke Zero? Yeah. That's everything. Thanks, slut. Of all the pictures I've taken, you always see you buy me food. It's I always do. We aborted Walmart. And we're going to get my birthday stuff. So far, I have this tablecloth, and then I have this happy birthday sign. I don't really know what else to do, so I'm gonna look around a bit. But I don't really know what I'm looking for. That's the thing. The smaller one. All right, I'm back now. You guys briefly saw what I got at Party City, but I just got these little heart balloons as well. I got this happy birthday banner, this tablecloth for like snacks and stuff so we don't spill, and then also these little pink cups. I'm gonna like keep a bag down there with everything. So I also, I saw these and I couldn't pass up. So I picked these up, they're not for anything. They're just like for the fam. And then I just got some munchies, Miss Vicky jalapeno Twizzlers, Sour Patch, those, and then these little like red solo shot cups. And then also I restocked on my kombucha. I got the big jar because I know I like this flavor and it's way cheaper if you just get the big one liter. Got some tulips that I'm gonna put on my side table. So cute. 
You're so cute. Oh my God. At least move over here. Thank you. So I'm gonna put all of these decorations and food downstairs. And then I'm also going to put these in the fridge and switch over my flowers. So I'll be back. So pretty. Kitty in the back. Hi, you're so cute. I have a package to open. If you guys have followed me on Instagram, you would have seen that, that I posted about these pants about a week and a half ago from Garage. And unfortunately, when I ordered them, the extra small was sold out. So I got the small and they came last week, but they're way too big. So I had to return those and then somehow the extra small came back in stock in I'm pretty sure only one size because I bought it and then it sold out again. So um, I'm hoping that these fit, but they are the most beautiful, like taupe colored. Garage has a lot of clothes in this color and I'm obsessed with it. Casual trousers. So these are so, 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 so cute. And I'm so excited about these. They're just so easy to style in the springtime with just a basic t-shirt and some sneakers. It just really elevates your outfit compared to wearing like leggings or sweatpants. Like it's just as comfortable as sweatpants, but they're a lot dressier and they just make you look like you have really good style, you know? So I'll have these linked down below. I'm gonna try them on. I'm like changing right now. Change my outfit anyways for the thumbnail I'm making for that video because I have to try everything on. Oh, these fit way better. Like they're actually perfect. I'm so excited about these. Okay, let me show you guys. Here is what they look like on. They fit me so perfectly in the waist. I'm so obsessed. I'm 5'3 for reference, and they're like the perfect long, baggy, oversized length. They're like a traditional kind of like paper bag dress pant trouser material. Um, so, 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 so obsessed, and I will have them linked down below. I've been wanting pants like this for a really long time, so I'm super excited. And they should come out with more colors, like a dark charcoal gray would be really, really cute and I feel like would do really well. That is all for my little try on haul, just one thing. Yeah, like I said, I need to make a thumbnail for my video that's going live, so I have to be trying stuff on, taking photos and whatnot. So I will talk to you guys when I'm doing something else interesting. Also, this sweater, I'll have it linked down below. My friends have a company called White Spruce and they have lounge pieces like crewnecks and sweatpants and they have a new drop coming Friday, but that will already be out by the time this video goes live. So they gifted me this really cute monochromatic yellow one. I'll move it down a bit. I got this in an extra large because I like my stuff. Super oversized. And you guys saw I had it tucked into my jeans. So super versatile. And then I'm very, very excited about this one too. This they said is their softest one. It's like a bamboo material and it's this beautiful cream color. And again, it says white spruce on it. And I got this one in a large. I actually haven't tried this one on yet, but I'm assuming it will fit very similar. All right guys, 3.57, it is time for an afternoon pick me up. I'm so freaking tired, I swear to God. Every day between three and four, I get intensely exhausted and I need another coffee. So I'm gonna treat myself to Starbucks. Let's go. <laughs> hey there, welcome to Starbucks. Hi, can I please get a grande brown sugar oat chicken espresso? Unfortunately, I don't have brown sugar to shirt it in Starbucks, but can I replace it with another flavor? <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh my god, I'm literally on the curb. I'm not even, I'm not trying this, guys. I just went on the curb. Anyways, um, I'll probably be here for like 10 minutes, but I probably should have just got the iced shaken espresso. Like, why did I? I was put on the spot. Let me situate myself. I was getting one for my dad too, but he doesn't want it anymore because I really hyped up this brown sugar one. So what I ordered was grande iced shaken espresso with oat milk. And then I did light cinnamon powder. Ordered it like for pickup 
through the drive through while I'm here. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I might have to pull around or something. We'll see. Oh my gosh, so I pulled up and I saw the drink being handed over and then I explained the situation. He's like, oh yeah, I actually have it right here. Let's try this. So it's a grande shaken espresso with oat milk. I added light cinnamon powder on it and just the regular espresso and not blonde. So it's very similar to the brown sugar, but without the brown sugar and just the regular espresso. Let's try this. It's pretty good. I got kind of gypped out on milk, so I need to go fill it up with some oat milk at my house, but it's very strong, but I like it. Yum! I'm confused where Aiden got this because it's sold out everywhere. One of the houses he's working at, the guy's daughter works for Starbucks, so she gave it to Aiden. Do you think he'll be mad if I use him? I'm just gonna use it a little bit. Mm. That's way better. I'm not over how cute my side table is when I have flowers on it. I'm obsessed. And this cute little clip on top of my glass dish. Wow, so cute. So I don't know if you guys heard, but my brother is an electrician. And I guess he was working at a house where their daughter works at Starbucks, and they and she gave him a little bit of the brown sugar syrup. So I put a little bit in my drink. Hopefully he doesn't get mad, but made it taste. A lot better and I also added more oat milk. I feel like they didn't put enough in originally So it was very very strong obviously because it's three shots of espresso As of right now, it is 428 Sorry, I got distracted it is 428. I am just about to Put on some Netflix and I'm gonna answer some emails just finish up my work for the day I actually am done on time, which is crazy. That doesn't really happen. I'll be here drinking my coffee doing my thing Hello guys, good morning. You know I'm the absolute worst vlogger when it becomes nighttime. All I did was eat dinner and then honestly it was kind of rushed because I forgot that LCBO and everything isn't open today so I had to run out and quickly grab a bunch of stuff for tonight but I thought I would also kind of continue the vlog a little bit today because I'm about to go to my workout class and I want to show you guys the garage pieces. I'm wearing three of them right now. I have sweatpants on because it's cold out but here are the shorts. I'm so obsessed with them. I'll have them linked down below. So these are in a size small. They're like a little bit loose in the back but i ordered more and i got an extra small color is so beautiful and like i mentioned i have like the leggings in this color and i'm obsessed with them so very excited about it and then i'm also just wearing this little garage crop t-shirt you guys know i showed everything earlier and then also with the matching a sports bra underneath i took the padding out because i don't like padding yeah so cute everything is such good quality highly recommend and they also came out with a chocolate brown sorry i'm like pulling my pants up they have a chocolate brown collection like with all these styles and i ordered that yesterday i got the shorts the high neck sports bra and then the leggings so very excited about that because i've been wanting the set active chocolate brown set for a while but one it's always sold out and two it's hella expensive let's go work out i don't think i'm gonna bring you guys with me just because i've shown it in a few vlogs before and it's not that interesting <laughs> Hello guys, <laughs> did you just see that fail I had with my kombucha? That was embarrassing, but that was like one of the best workouts of my life. Unfortunately, it is closing tomorrow, so this was the last day for F45 because we're going into like another, not really lockdown, but they're just putting us in the gray, I think it's what it's called. I just got my kombucha. It is 11.11 and my video went live at 11. Answer some comments and stuff. Post it on my Instagram. And then I also have this immune elixir from Freshy. I got it at Walmart last night. I haven't tried that one. I've had the Freshy gut elixir and it was really delicious. I'm gonna have that, but first, give me a sec. I need to promo my video. I actually get quite a few questions on how I do that text bubble on my Instagram so I can show you guys. So you go to your YouTube and then you click the dot, 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 share and then copy link. And then you go to your messages and you literally just send it to yourself. So I have like a conversation full of a bunch of links and photos that I just send between 
and then you send it and it will pop up as like a message screenshot it and then you just crop it very simple and then you just post it on your instagram story let me just take this shot what's in this ginger juice lemon juice and honey that actually doesn't sound too bad i shook it i'm scared it's gonna like explode now okay should be fine it's not carbonated cheers it burns but it feels good anyways it is 11 15 right now i have my birthday lunch at 12 30 so i need to shower get ready and do my makeup within like 45 minutes i'm kind of in a rush i should go <laughs> Okay guys, I never ended up finishing off the vlog on Friday because I was really rushed to go to my birthday lunch so I couldn't even like show you guys my outfit or anything. I had to go um, and then I got kind of drunk so Jay had to come pick me up and went and napped in his bed for a bit and then we went back to my house, ate dinner and then I had to redo my makeup, get ready for my friends to come over for my birthday and then I didn't even have time to show you guys everything set up. I didn't really want to vlog my birthday night anyways because we were all drinking and stuff and then the next day was Saturday, my actual birthday. I wasn't planning on filming Saturday. I also just want to thank all of you guys for all the birthday wishes. I had so many of you contact me on Instagram so I really appreciate it. I felt very loved. It was just a good birthday. So yeah, I didn't have time to end off this video so I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Follow my Instagram. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in a few days. Bye!